Oh hey, totally saw you there. Chose to ignore you. <laughs> Guys, this is like my thousands. One, oh, this is like my one thousands. Why can't I say that? This is my one thousand. Wow, I can't even say that word anymore. This is my one thousandth. No. <laughs> what the? Uh, what the? F you guys are literally witnessing me forget how to say a word. One thousandth. What's that? This is my one thousandth. One thousandth. Try it again. <laughs> oh my god, guys. This is like my one thousandth time. I'm trying to set up this camera. I hope this works. Let's go check it out, Dan. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Look who's back in the kitchen. Oh my god. Okay, chill, Dan. It's not gonna last long. What's up, everybody? Today we're making another craft. I'm drunk. I'm, I'm coming at you from my kitchen. I'm gonna make the same joke I make in every kitchen video, which is like. Oh my god, who let Dan in the kitchen? Today we're doing a craft that you would honestly think should be on Halloween day. No, I don't like how that came out. <laughs> Today we're making a craft that you would think would fall in October. F I can't even say that one. Today we're doing a craft that is involving something that I extremely hate. Spiderweb eggs. And if there's one thing on this planet I hate more than... Sp spiders is nothing. I, I hate spiders the most. Today we're making spiderweb eggs, which is a really, really cool craft that I've never done before. But I want to try, just like every other video, I want to try it for the first time on camera with you guys. That way we get a real attempt, and it's not like... Hey guys, it's me, Dan. Thank you for coming to my kitchen again. Today we're doing this craft that I've practiced a thousand times. This is my first attempt, so if it doesn't work, don't try it. You guys may be thinking, Dan, if you hate spiders, then why are you doing this craft? It is a step in the right direction to get over my fear of spiders. Why do spiders on this planet need to be this big? Like, we should have spider regulations which are, like... Like, maybe that big. <laughs> just get rid of spiders. Just because I said that, I know I'm gonna get a comment like, Just so you know, if you were to get rid of spiders, you realize that you'd get rid of half of the insects. Yeah, I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I hate insects. I'm not an insect kid. I know there's those weird kids in school that are like, Look, I got a snail. Guys, check out this fly icon. I was never that kid. I'd be like, oh, cool, man. So he's not coming to my birthday party, all right? I'll never go out of my way to kill an insect. I view everything with a heartbeat or everything that moves. Just trying to make it in this world. There's a spider or a bug. I'm not the type that goes like, oh, look, a spider. No, man, that spider's just trying to cross. Probably probably just picked up some spider groceries for its family. Maybe he's trying to get some spider booty later tonight. Had a little spider bottle of wine. And you just went and ruined that. I can't have that on my conscience. I ain't gonna cock block a spider. Where the f am I going with this? <laughs> Let's just get to the video, guys. Here's what you need to make spiderweb eggs. You're gonna need a pot, okay? You're gonna be putting water in here. You're gonna need some frozen blueberries. This one's gonna confuse everybody. I don't know why they have to be frozen, straight up. <laughs> I, I don't. They have to be frozen because apparently that's like how you get the color. This is supposed to be natural food coloring. Last but not least, you're gonna need eggs for this. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. First thing you wanna do is get a pot of cold water. Today we're gonna do all six eggs, just in case one of them messes up or five of them mess up, maybe one of them turns out okay. Slowly put them in there. Boom. Next what we're gonna do is add the frozen blueberries. Really, that is like the smallest friggin' hole. Okay, the whole bag's been added. Let's go ahead and bring that to a boil. I'm actually gonna add this egg timer. This will just help me know if they're actually cooked, so. I don't know if I'll be able to see it at all. Now, as the water's starting to get warmer, the blueberries that were once frozen are starting to sink to the bottom. These are like the little fighters. Oh, gladiators! Okay, so this is like 10 minutes later, and um, <laughs> the blueberries actually floated back to the top. So whatever I said before, uh, clearly I'm wrong. Next what we're going to want to do is take all the eggs out, put them on a paper towel, just so we can kind of like dry them. And then that is where we're going to start the spider web effect. They look like vintage eggs. Does that egg not look like it was born in the 1920s? So the first part of the craft is done. Next we're going to take this mixture, we're going to take it off the heat and pour it into this bowl. We're gonna have to drain some of the water because the eggs are gonna displace the water. Now, one by one, we're gonna take the eggs and we're just gonna hit them with the spoon to crack the outer shell. We'll do the other side. Six. Okay, so all six eggs have been shattered, but not peeled. And then we're gonna add them back into the water. Next, 
want to take this bowl and put it in the fridge and let it chill for about three hours. I realize there's a lot of beer in here, but that is just one of the perks that I have with being in the Bud King Club was they sent me a bunch of Budweiser. Let's get rid of the fruit. All right guys, see you in three hours. Okay, let's see. All right, it's been chilled. Go ahead and see what happened to these eggs. Okay, so after three hours being in the fridge, this is what the eggs are looking like right now. So the blueberry dyes actually dyed the shell even further than when we actually boiled it. Egg number one. Oh, oh my God, oh my God. Yo, stop. Oh my God, look at this. Holy <laughs> That's one of the spider webs. It turned out so good already. Look at this. Can you guys see that? That is what the effect is. It's supposed to look like a spider web like that. Look at this egg right now. This is unreal. And the amazing thing is you could technically eat this. I wanna see if it actually tastes like blueberry um, or if the taste has even changed at all, but that is unbelievable. There's number two. You can, you can sort of see where I hit it with the spoon. It kind of looks more like marble. Like you know like the rock marble, like marble countertops or whatever. It kind of has that sort of effect. This is like Martha Stewart's shot right now. Look at this shot. This one sort of worked out. This is probably the darkest one out of them all. That's insane. That right there is the spider egg. Okay, so here's what I'm learning. This one you'll notice is very, very vivid compared to this. Like look how much darker this one is compared to this. The reason is, when you're peeling, you're gonna get that film that it comes with the shell. Like, this is all gonna peel off, I'll show you. And then it's gonna go to a dimmer color. If you guys are careful enough, you could peel the shell without ripping off that film, and then it'll be very, very dark. Wherever you're cracking, the ink is seeping through that crack and dyeing that part of the egg. Here's another one right here. Turned out really, really good. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and try one of these eggs. I'm honestly, I'm curious to see if this tastes anything like blueberry. Nope, nothing. But it has zero taste of blueberry in here. There you guys have it, that is how you make spider web eggs with just blueberries, frozen blueberries. Very easy to do. You can do it in an afternoon. I had to let it chill for about three hours. But other than that, you can do this in an afternoon and still get a really cool effect. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I've got tons of videos coming out every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I've got new videos coming out. I'll have a really cool photo on my Instagram of these eggs. Go check it out at Dan Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.